Tonight we're looking at patients in the hospital because of COVID-19. Earlier this week, the University of Kansas Health System saw a number of patients. KBC 9 News investigative reporter Matt Fleener spoke with um, a few hospital experts in our area to see where hospitalizations stand. Over the past few weeks, doctors here at the St. Luke's Health System, Truman Medical Centers, and the University of Kansas Health System say they've seen record numbers of patients in the hospital due to COVID-19. Today we're at 39 patients. That's our, that's our high. Yep. That's our high. Tuesday, the University of Kansas Health System saw a record high of 39 COVID-19 patients. But Thursday, better news with just 24. We are um, very happy the last two days we have been. We have 53 patients in-house uh, across the system right now. St. Luke's Health System with several hospitals saw a drop to 53 COVID-19 patients Thursday, down from a record high of 75 July 27th. Unless it's a protracted leveling off, then I don't get too excited about it because I've, uh, I've been hoodwinked before by seeing a temporary dip. This chart, provided by KU Medical Center researchers, shows the KC region rose above projected hospitalizations the past couple of weeks, but has started to dip back down. As for hospitalizations going back down? Yes, it's reassuring, but it's not. Uh, it doesn't make me uh, breathe a sigh of relief as of yet. Doctors say they are getting ready for fall with flu season ahead. In fact, the head of a regional committee that helps hospitals with resources says hospitals are actually renting and buying more ventilators to prepare for that fall season. Matt Fleener, KNBC 9 News. And as for capacity, the head of a regional hospital committee tells KNBC 9 News hospitals are busy because so many procedures were delayed by the pandemic.